Hello, Earth Signs. Welcome to Mo Moon Tarot. This is your January 2022 Oracle and Tarot reading. This is for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo Sun Signs. The first message I have for you, Earth Signs, is in regards to Star Ancestors. Hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. The ancients knew much more than we do about our connection with the stars. Their pyramids, temples, and other places of worship created in precise alignment with the stars exist in all corners of the world. What if this ancient wisdom is available for you to uncover now? You're being called to think and listen with your ancient heart and soul, to tap into the part of you that remembers and knows. All ancient secrets are whispered forever in your ears. All mystic knowing blooms in your heart. All potent power pumps through your veins. You're being invited to step into your ancient knowingness, to be held by the rememberings of the star ancestors, to look a little deeper. If you're feeling stuck, you're being called to do something different, to change your point of view. Creativity happens when we put together two things that don't belong, when we do the unexpected. So often a creative solution is right in front of us because we think we, we think the same thoughts and act the same way. We miss what's in the open. You're here to remember and uncover ancient secrets and transmissions, technology and wisdom that are so needed on the planet right now. To unlock your soul's memories of a time when we lived in harmony on earth and one day will again. I'm ready to remember ancient mysteries and secrets from deep within. So earth signs, I'm just going to draw some cards for you and uh, read a little bit of the energy for you for January. The center card is nature of the situation and dominant energy. And we have the Ten of Cups. So the nature of the situation for you and dominant energy is the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups speaks about emotional fulfillment. It speaks about a rainbow after the rain. Blessings after a period of difficulty. The nature of your situation right now is that you are feeling in harmony with the universe. The dominant energy is that you deserve to feel this way. The second card is external wisdom and what you are being shown. We have the Knight of Swords. The external wisdom and what you are being shown has to do with the quickness of your mind. You are building a world around you that it is a result of the quickness of your thoughts, of the intelligence of your words, of your determination to do the best to communicate with those around you. The third card represents external guidance and how you shift the situation moving forward. And the card we have is the King of Pentacles, which is your element, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the king of earth. Trust your guidance, trust your inner knowing, trust what your body is telling you. 
Trust what you see in your bank account. Trust what you see in the earthly plane around you. You know from what you see around you how you can shift your situation moving forward. What sorts of effort, physical work you can put in to surround yourself with the physical things that you want to see in your world manifest. The fourth card represents inner wisdom and what you've learned. You have the six of cups, which is a card of compassion, innocence, childlike innocence. Your inner wisdom is that you are a child at heart. You are in fact very sensitive, very aware of those around you and of their emotions. You want everybody to get along. You want everybody to be at peace and live in harmony. And it is your inner child that is pushing you forward to do so and to see that in the people around you. The fifth and final card represents inner guidance and how you are ready to move forward. We have the hanged man. The inner guidance and how you are ready to move forward is basically telling you that it's okay if you feel stuck. Your inner guidance is telling you that it's okay to remain suspended for a time so that you can understand the situation around you and how to move forward. You are allowing yourself the time to reflect, to ponder the mysteries of life and the mysteries of the universe and what is happening around you. And you will know when you are ready. So I do hope this was a helpful reading for January for you earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. If you did enjoy this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you want to comment, I'll get back to you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please be sure to do so. Again, my name is Mo, and I will see you in my next video.